Well, that's sports for tonight. Uh, the second hour begins in about five minutes. If you really need to know what's happening in ODM party and as a meal, the view from inside weekly from Betsa Paranya, the pioneer governor, also the executive chairperson of the Azimia Council and the deputy party leader is sitting down with me on the round table in a moment. But as he comes, if you're watching via KTN Home, goodbye. KTN News continues. Right, the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission Selection Panel says it can deliver the electoral body's commissioners within 40 days if they are financed by Parliament to do their job. Speaking exclusively to KTN News, the panel's chairperson, Dr. Nelson Makanda, called on Parliament to fast-track the disbursement of the funds to enable the boundary review and pending uh, activities to go on and to avoid the constitutional crisis here is now Emmanuel To with that exclusive report. Over years since they assumed office to recruit new IBC commissioners, but their mandate has not been concluded owing to the country's political interference leading to the current constitutional crisis surrounding the boundary review that is due this month. A high court ruling a month ago that sought to unlock the ampers seems not to have taken effect, with the panel now saying it is financially strained. Uh, there was a court ruling recently, and that court ruling asked us to proceed with the work. Uh, we, we had a meeting uh, with uh, uh, the Speaker, who is the Chairman of Parliamentary Service Commission, that is uh, charged with the responsibility of providing secretariat and resources. So the panel uh, is able to work, uh, but we cannot work without facilitation of the secretariat and resources. Uh, and so uh, he said he was consulting uh, PSC and, and, and Treasury to be able to facilitate us. I'm waiting for his communication in that regard. Uh, if, if, if they choose to, uh, we will finish our work. We are ready to finish our work. Speaking to KTN News, the panel's chairperson, Dr. Nelson Makanda, called on Parliament to expedite their funding to enable them to do their work. If I were to get the resources today, we will finish the process in another 40 days from today. Yes, yes. Because we have names. We have very good applicants, very good Kenyans who applied. Uh, yeah, so it will just publish a shortlist and give notice to come for interviews. We will run an interview for, for 10 or so days and uh, we will forward the names to the president. Okay. Yeah, that's all. However, it seems the panel may have to wait even longer for the passage of the nine bills emanating from the National Dialogue Committee report as the bills seek to reconstitute the selection panel and increase the number of the IBC commissioners from seven to nine. Already the Speaker of the National Assembly, Moses Wetangula, has directed that the Joint Justice and Legal Affairs Committees of the Senate and the National Assembly consider the bills within 45 days and report back to the House. The selection panel, however, says it is unperturbed by the NADCO report and that it will only obey the court orders that are superior to the report. So it's possible that NADCO report can go uh, get into a bill and, and a bill has been drafted. It can get into uh, a parliament. And, and we can linger around those bills for, for another two or three years. Uh, so, so it's neither here nor, nor, nor there. With the boundaries reviewed due this month, according to Article 89 of the Constitution, which states that IBC shall review the names and boundaries of the constituencies at intervals of not less than eight years and not more than 12 years, the country may continue to wallow in the constitutional crisis. We actually dealt with that matter. <laughs> It's in the National Dialogue Committee report where we proposed, uh, correct me, appeal and I, I think we proposed uh, moving from, is it 12 years to 20, 20 years, all there, so that we can escape the crisis. Emmanuel Toll, KT News, Nairobi. An extended version of that interview with Dr. Nelson Makanda, the chairperson of the IBC selection panel, is